Uh, this is May Swenson, strawberrying. My hands are murder red. Many a plump head drops on the heap in the basket. Or, ripe to bursting, they might be hearts matching the blackbird's wing fleck. Gripped to a reed, he shrieks his coquerie in the next field. He's left his peck in some juicy cheeks, when at first blush, and mostly white, they showed streaks of sweetness to the marauder. We're picking near the shore, the morning sunny, a slight wind moving rough-veined leaves our hands rumple among. Fingers fine by feel the ready fruit in clusters. Here and there, their squishy wounds. Flesh was perfect yesterday. June was for gorging. Sweet hearts young and firm before decay. Take only the biggest and not too ripe, a mother calls to her girl and boy, barefoot in the furrows. Don't step on any. Don't change rows. Don't eat too many. Mesmerized by the largesse, the children squat and pull and pick handfuls of rich scarlets, half for the baskets, half for avid mouths. Soon whole faces are stained. A crop this thick begs for plunder. Ripeness wants to be ravished, as udders of cows when hard. The blue vein bags distended, ache to be stripped. Hunkered in mud between the rows, sun burning the backs of our necks, we grope for and rip loose soft-nippled heads. If they bleed, too soft, let them stay. Let them rot in the heat. When, hidden away in a damp hollow, under moldy leaves, I come upon a clump of heart shapes, once red, now spider spit gray, intact but empty, still attached to their dead stems, family smothered as at Pompeii, I rise and stretch. I eat one more big ripe lopped head. Red-handed, I leave the field. That was Strawberrying by Mae Swenson.